on the XM44 to show the structural similarities between the XM44 and the M45 gas mask. Off the back you can see structurally in the face blank that they are similar. However, there's a lot of smaller details that are different between the two. Like on the XM44, the eye lenses, the crimping is different. They're similar to the XM40s with the metal crimping here being on the outside and the full metal being on the inside. The voice emitter is similar to the MCU2 APs and M42A1 armored vehicle crew gas masks. They do, however, share microphone ports. This was meant to hook up to a helmet or comms units so that they can communicate. And they do have an internal microphone inside. They both share 40 millimeter housing ports for the filter or hoses. And as opposed to the M45, the secondary voice emitter on the XM44 is shared with the MCU to APs and M40s. While the M45 has a independent secondary voice emitter all of its own. The XL valve cover to the XM44 is independent to the XM44 alone and can be compared to the MCU MCUs. It's made in 1989 in MSA, the company. Now on the M45, as compared to the XM44, the eye lenses crimping is fully plastic rather than metallic. And I believe the material used between the eye lenses stay the same. But I know for sure that the M45's eye lenses are plastic. The M45 has a primary, primary voice emitter and secondary voice emitter independent to itself, rather than adopting it from the XM44 and implementing it on the M45. Um, I'm not sure of any other mask that actually uses this type of voice emitter or secondary voice emitter, so that's why I'm saying it's independent to the M45 alone. It also has a few accessories that go on to the M45's primary voice emitter, like a microphone housing or a VPU or voice projection unit. The exhale valve cover is independent to the M45 and has no inheritance from the XM44.